this is probably gonna be the most drastic move I would have ever made to accomplish that look. My name is Jay Cusa. I'm 40 years old. I'm single, bachelor here in Miami. I work out six days a week and I'm gonna get an ab sculpting procedure. A six pack is gonna feel great. I think men sort of had the attitude 10, 20 years ago, what you see is what you get versus nowadays, that paradigm is changing. Working in digital, you know, it's a young man's game or a young person's game. And you don't want to be in a situation where you're not looked at as qualified for a position because you've aged out of it. My name is Justin. I'm 38 years old and I'm looking to get PRP in my scalp for hair growth. Also a little Botox in the forehead for fine lines and wrinkles. I got the four pack already, now I'm packed. But this little help was going to help me get the full six pack. It definitely is cheating. I'll agree with them 100%, but I'm okay with it. So we're gonna get a little ab sculpting right here, just to kind of mark the abs. Boom, boom, just suck from here and suck from here. Just to tighten this up. Ab sculpting is gonna definitely increase my confidence I want to get it done because I just feel like I've gotten into an age where uh, no matter how hard I diet, no matter how hard I exercise, I just haven't been able to get that look the way that I've wanted to. We're in Miami. This is a city where looks matter. So if you look good, things are going to open up for you. So I got to pretty much take one antibiotic the night before and then the rest uh, the anti-inflammatories and the, the painkillers every four to six hours after. Um, but I plan on not using the painkillers too much. I'll probably just take the pain. So working out is important. And if you don't think that I work out, well, you could just check all my shoes are workout shoes. Pretty much everything is for the gym. I dress for the gym all day, every day. So as you see me right now, that's how I go to work. That's how I, that's my daily routine. It's the gym, 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 gym. Everything in my life is is at a great place right now. The only thing that I think that I could do to just maybe give it a little bit more, that final touch would be this. Come on, dog. Time to step it up. You've been getting better, but we need more, 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 more. Let's go. More. Faster. What the fuck? I'll punch you in your fucking face. Let's go. Hurry up. Hurry up. Let's go. You're going to make it, but you got to keep going. Don't slow down at all. Let's go. Come on. So you trying to get rid of this? Oh, fat boy. Let's go. Yeah, just so. Why do you think that I can't do it? I haven't been able to get rid of this. We've been training how many years now? Years. Since I got here. Okay. Four years. Four years. You've been on and off. So, so that's what do you think is the reason why I can't get rid of this? Consistency. You got to be consistent. You ain't built for it, though. You ain't tough enough. It's cool. You need surgery. I mean, listen. I'm not you, consistent enough. you want to be lazy, I'm, I don't, I'm yeah. not consistent enough. I am lazy. I, I do want instant gratification. I'm okay with it. 2019, you know, I, that's the I way think, of the world, I huh? think I did train a lot, and you I think for as hard as I've trained, I should probably have gotten rid of this. Could've I believe. I mean, that's, that's your belief. That's but my belief. Some people is harder than others. One more. Get your ass up there, mother. Good, good money, good job. I ain't... Sound like to me, you're giving up. Sounds to me like I'm just gonna improve myself so I can continue building on that. I'm demotivated. You're demotivated? Demotivated. Do you know how demotivated it is to work out like this every day with you? And then to not be able to look in the mirror and say, damn, where, where's the six pack at? More work. Huh? More work. Gotta put in more work. How much more work can I put? What time you get up? I get up at eight in the morning every day. So get up at five. What I mean, start going to sleep later now. For what? I have a new business that I'm getting into and it's gonna require me to stay up late. Right now. Do your push ups, 900 push ups. Okay. But yeah. I can't plan for that. Yeah, I can't, can't see it's guaranteed that I'm gonna be able to Nothing do Nothing in life is guaranteed. This ain't guaranteed. Go faster. Uh, was it Dr. Rao? And this is me. <laughs> a little heftier days, sans beard, with my chin kind of inflamed because he just did Kybella, so. <laughs> Would society be better if we were all judged by the character, our character and our inner beauty? Yes, but I think, you know, it's not the reality. There is a reality that depending on the industry you work in, you have to look a certain way. And, you know, I work in the media industry. It's great to be, have a younger look. So this is something that I just want to do, uh, partly to fit in. 
doing them gives me self-confidence to go out there and be successful in the interview process or be successful in pitching business because in my head, I look good. And it's not what people think about me, but it's what I think about myself. Oh, how you doing? It's good to see you. Oh, it's the first time here, right? I know, wait, I got off at 2B. Oh, you shouldn't have done that. It's nice to the stairs. Oh, now that's bad, now she's exhausted. I'm, like, I'm out of shape. Well, thanks for coming to cook with me. Um, yeah, excited. Got a little fine lines right here, something a little Botox. Like, Raise you your see? eyebrows. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I'm going to Dr. Rowe and he has like this whole man yeah. cave where it's like all the colors are like so manlike okay. and it's like great. And It's better know, than being around women. Oh yeah. You got the whiskey. It's like everything <laughs> you need. And and the guy behind the counter, he's also a man. So, okay, so it's, it's not, not like, like I can be like, oh, I have to get this Botox. You know, you, you yeah. say what you want to get. So I, I think it's great that you invest in your self-maintenance and when yeah. everyone else are... Friends and family who are our age are old and wrinkly. We'll be young and youthful forever. That's what I'm talking about. At least turn on the back, outside. Turn back the clock. We'll be like, <laughs> yeah, turn back the clock, baby. That's right. That's right. Turn back the clock. <laughs> All right, sounds good. How are you? How's it going? Nice to see you. How's everything? Good, and you? Good. How have you been? I'm good. You ready for today? I'm ready. You excited? Yeah, super excited. <laughs> I think you're a great candidate for this. You've been <clears throat> taking good care of yourself. You're lean. You've got really good muscle mass, but sometimes getting that added definition in the abdomen, it's tough to do unless you're really, really, really strict about your diet, and sometimes that's very difficult to do. So today we're going to unmask that muscle tone and create a little bit of, of definition of our own. Nice. Of your abdomen. Yeah, that's what we want. Okay? Yeah, and we'll get rid of those love handles okay. too. So okay. it's gonna be great. You'll have a couple little, very small incisions. They'll be low in the pubic area, mm. one inside the belly button and a couple uh, on, the, on your sides. Mm. Okay, and that's for us to get the cannulas in and do all the good stuff we're gonna do right. today. Get that, okay. get that extra love out. Yeah, that's right, <laughs> right that's good. right. Okay, so the next step is uh, we, we gotta do some markings. Okay. Okay, Jay, you wanna flex your abs for me real tight? Wow, you've got great, great abs under here. Ready. We could just leave you like that. Yeah, you know? I'm good. I see you in the mirror. <laughs> Not bad. Yeah. All right, let's do it. Let's do it. All right, buddy. See you on the other I side. We'll see you back there. Yeah. Maria told me I was walking on this procedure. As soon as you lay down, I get to give you a cocktail. Oh, yeah. yeah. All right, so let's do this, okay? Mm -hmm. I want you to take three really deep, big, deep breaths. Okay? I'm giving you the medicine that makes you go completely asleep, okay? Big breath. Let me see. That's good. That's really good. Really, really
Justin, how are you doing? I'm how Dr. Doing, Dr. Rowe. Rowe. Welcome doing? to the clubhouse. Thank you very much. What the clubhouse is, is a cosmetic office for men. It's a medical man cave. First thing you're going to see are snake skin covered walls, street art, a bar, a fireplace, you know, deep leather sofas, and a bright red obnoxious carpet. We're going to see what, uh, what your concerns are. Sounds good. And we're going to make you happy. Great, let's go. Have you been all good? I'm feeling pretty good. Um, you know, I'm really interested in trying the PRP again in the scalp. Uh, I see. A, it looks like it. We made some progress yeah. there. I think you know, since the last time I was here, I'm getting a little fine lines right up here, and I was thinking that. maybe just a little Botox. Uh, That's a great treatment you suggest, for it. You know, it would be good to uh, you know just raise your brow that. up. Raise your brow up. Oh, make a mean face, and now give me a little smile. Yeah. We can put a little Botox in your brow. I always tell my patients, you can never have too much Botox. Botox in the forehead. We'll also treat the glabella, which is the 11s. Okay. The corners of the eyes we'll go after. Just give mm -hmm. you a nice little smile line mm -hmm. and make yourself comfortable here yeah. and we'll get all set up. All right, thanks all a right. lot. One, two, three, little pinch. Now here are your red cells. Here's the white cells. This kind of tan color, that's all the platelets. And that's what we're gonna inject into your scalp and use that to uh, help regenerate and keep the hair growth going. And in about two months or about a month, you'll start seeing hair growth. Mm -hmm. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna focus on your forehead, mm -hmm. your glabella or the area between the eyes, and then the corners of the eyes, the uh, crow's feet. Great. Great. Give me a smile. Okay, now raise your brow. Mean face. You look great. Great. Congratulations. Thank you very much. Don't forget your hat. Throw this one. Yeah. <laughs> All, right. All right. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot, Dr. Rowe. Have a good day. Yes. men in general are more comfortable getting these procedures done because, you know, there are pressures for us as well um, to continue to look younger. As you get older, you start knowing, hey, this is something I can use to help me have a great appearance, so I'm going to indulge in it. We live in a society today where I feel like looks are important, so that's why I feel like now's a good opportunity for me to take advantage and do this so I can really achieve my full potential in life. All right, everybody, here we are. Um, we're about five weeks out. Six pack is on the way.